How's it going everybody? Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to my attempt at qualification for the Players' Cup 4. Um, if you don't know what the Players' Cup is, the Players' Cup is an international competition where basically you, you compete against everybody in the world to try and uh, qualify at a certain level uh, in your region. So for me that's obviously Europe. Uh, to make it through to the next stage of, of the competition to try and determine who is currently the best player in the world. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion that is not me. I don't think I am currently the best player in the world. Um, I haven't checked, but I'm, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Uh, however, I wanted to actually take some time and have a go at this Players' Cup and, and take it seriously. So, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, I have a bit of a history with the Players' Cup of just messing around, building teams around stupid Pokemon. Most recently, uh, I let my girlfriend pick my Pokemon and she uh, for Players' Cup 3, and she picked mostly horses and cats. So we had a team with Galarian Rapidash and it was fun. I really enjoyed myself and we really, really needed to qualify. We finished at like 16, 20 something. I can't remember, uh, but it wasn't quite enough to qualify. And I thought, you know what? Uh, if we can get that high with the horses, then, you know, why don't we just give this one a go? I haven't played a ton of Series 8. I have done a little series. Uh, I don't know if any of you have caught it using rental teams to decide which team I'm going to use. And, um, I came, I came to the conclusion that I'm going to fuse the Palkia team that I had built with the Zekron team that we used on stream, and, and I've come up with the team that you see just here, uh, which I will go into a bit of detail and explain. Uh, I'm not going to ramble on for too long, but uh, it should be fun. It should hopefully be a really, a really good time. I, I'm not going to post my standings every day. I'm going to try and keep you interested. I'll just post highlights of the kind of more enjoyable battles. Um, try so we don't get too bored. I don't want these to be like an hour and a half long videos or something stupid. Like this should just be fun, right, for you guys to come and check out. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, we'll um, we'll go check out the team just now. Bye. Alrighty then, here's the team. Uh, this is the team that we're bringing uh, for the Players' Cup. Um, as you can see, there's no uh, glaring Rapidash in sight today. So uh, the crux of the team is this. I tried to build a team with Comfy and Palkia. Um, I wanted it to be able to operate in and out of Trick Room. Uh, I could basically was running uh, Palkia, Comfy, Mamoswine, Incineroar, uh, and, and I was also running Thunderous at one point as well. And then Aaron Zeng used uh, this team, uh, well not this team, but a similar team to this, um, on on his uh, his YouTube channel. And I saw it and I thought, oh, I wonder what Zekrom's like. And uh, Zekrom was just better for what I was trying to do in every single way. So basically what I did was combine the team I was building with that team. Um, I swapped out the Clefairy on that team for a Mamoswine with a Focus Sash. Uh, I gave the Thunderous uh, safety goggles and I gave it Rain Dance and Eerie Impulse. To uh, well, sorry, already had rain dust, but I gave it eerie impulse over thunder wave. Thunder wave wasn't really doing that much for me, I found, and I really need the eerie impulse to help deal with Xerneas and some other uh, threats to Zekrom, uh, and also to help deal with the Venusaur match a bit better because I found I got put to sleep quite a lot, so that really helped. Um, and yeah, other than that, the a lot of the EVs are quite similar. Um, I didn't change too much up from the from the rental team. Um, which I used on uh, on a YouTube video not that long ago, so if you want to check that out, you can do. But yeah, this is basically the team. This week, this policy is Um the, the other kind of cool aspect of the team is the Choice Scarf, Urshifu, uh, with the Rain Dance and the Thunderous. It really, really does huge amounts of damage to some teams. It does deals really well with Kyger teams. Sassian can be a problem, but Mamoswine helps to deal with that. Xerneas is a huge problem, a massive problem. And the other reason I gave Thunderous safety goggles was because without, um, <laughs> without them, if, if he came up against Xerneas and Amoongus, I was just losing. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool team. Um, a lot of people do know about Special Zekrom now, so I, I'm not that confident it's going to take too many people by surprise, but it does have the option to. Um, people try and, like, burn Zekrom or intimidate Zekrom, and it obviously just doesn't work because it is a, a special variant. So, yeah, uh, without much further ado, what we're going to do is just jump straight into the game. Um, yeah, see you in a minute. Um, looks like this player is running uh, Zacian. Is that Gerda? That's pretty cool. Um, that's a pretty cool team. Um, all right then. Silvalli as well. Very cool. Um, okay. Let's bring let's bring the let's bring the let's bring the core four. Let's go for the core four here. Um, I don't think there's any reason not to. Uh, Zacian is a problem, obviously, for this team for like, you know, obvious reasons, but. Um, with the, with this this uh, opponent's particular team composition, I think um, I think we might be okay. Ideally, he would lead Zacian. That would be really nice. Um, I obviously can't leave that. Um, okay, it's Silvalli and it is the uh, uh, Galarian Farfetched, whatever it's called, Surfetched. Is that ice? Is that ice, Silvalli? 
Is that what I see there? Do the, do the little feather things give it away? Um, honestly, I don't know. I think we... That's my door. Thank, thank you! I think I'm just going to drain and kiss the, the surfetched here. He has no he has no switch into the um, into the Sil Valley slot. Like there's nothing he wants that, that he wants to take in that Sil Valley slot there. Um, it may be fairly obvious what we're doing, but I, I just don't see what he switches in to the uh, or what he does to in, in, in the face of a Max Lightning here. Okay, so we get the draining kit off. Um, let's see how much this does. It'll be interested to see. Uh, just just under half, which is pretty big damage. Okay, Iron Head comes out. Uh, we eat the berry, which is great. Um, we take literally nothing from that. Uh, we actually would survive another one, which is good to know. Uh, we get the max lightning off, and this is why I didn't want to trick room because whilst I, I would, whilst I would trick room in the face of uh, sorry, there's like literally post at the door. Um, I just want to see what surface does, and then I'll be right back. Okay, uh, surface is going to uh, meteor salt. I don't know what that means. What does that do? Okay, nothing. Right, I'll be right back. I think we can do a Zassian later. Let's trick room. No, 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 no. Run oh, out of time now. Uh, let's drain kiss. And let's max guard. Because what this does is puts us in a position where the uh, the surfetched or whatever it's called will be down within the draining kiss range. Um, which is very nice. Um, and if he is wasted an attack. Oh, did we crit? Did that take it out? Oh, I was just a low roll first turn. Okay, cool. Oh, well, that's pretty good. So the Moonblast comes out. Moonblast? Special Zacian? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure what's going on. Maybe I'll ask the postman next time. If it's Moonblasting, um... Um... Okay. Uh, well, let's just give Zekrom as much health as possible. Um, and I think we just max lightning the Cinderace. What do you max lightning the Zacian? And let the Cinderace max. Like it, it, Cinderace doesn't get an ice move, does it? It doesn't get dragon moves before this because obviously, like Trick Room is great in front of Zacian, but actually, um, I've got Ursh Scarf Ursher in the back, right? And I don't want to. Um, the last thing I want to do is end up with my Scarf Urshifu out in Trick Room. Like, that's just obviously a dreadful idea anyone to do. Okay, so Moonblast comes out, um, which is super effective, which activates our weakness policy, which is very good, because I don't think the, I, I don't think the, uh, the Cinderace can KO Zekrom. Um, it goes for the Airstream, okay, uh, which is which is definitely fine. Um, this might KO Comfy, which would be really nice. Uh, it doesn't KO Comfy, which is not that nice. Um, but still is okay. Yeah. We get the lightning off. Uh, I'm pretty sure Zassian does not survive this now. Um, I was pretty sure it didn't survive it in uh, in regular terrain, in, in just with electric terrain up. Um, so I'm pretty confident it wouldn't survive it now. Okay, uh, so our max is over. Um, which is which is cool. Uh, we're just going to Floral Healing the Zekrom here and go for a Rising Voltage. I think that should probably be enough. Um, I st I'm still not sure if Cinderace can KO the Zekrom from here. Um, really not sure. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Uh, so it looks like the um, it looks like our, our opponent forfeited. I think I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. But a pretty good first game all round. So let's um, let's jump into the next one. Wait, hang on. Does that say number of battles won? Rating fourteen eighty six. Did we disconnect? Well, we haven't come off the internet. What? What? Excuse me? Hello? Why have I lost? I didn't lose. Hello, game? I didn't... What the... Can I speak to the referee, please? Referee? May I speak to you, please? 
Da, 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 da. Only one of that trick resist in Tapu Koko. Uh, so Mammoth Swine can be quite good. Mammoth Swine is also good against Dragonite. Mammoth Swine is also fairly good against Aegis Slash. Uh, we do have ground switch ins, which isn't ideal. Okay. Um, what I need to make sure I do here. Just because I so said the reason I'm bringing the Earth is because in the rain it hits so hard. Like it, it hits ridiculously hard. What I need to do is try and manage the trick room situation. There's no way Tapu Koko does enough damage to us, right? So actually, protecting would be fairly useless, and there's a good chance for us to get lead. Right, okay, let's just pause for one second. What can he switch into an electric attack? Everything takes it minimum neutral, apart from Tapu Koko, it's already on the field. And if the ally switches, then Tapu Koko is still taking a plus two max lightning in the electric terrain. So I think we're kind of, like that looks fairly good. Um, Let's see how we go. Gosh, I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen here. So, Confi gets the draining kiss off. Uh, I imagine Tapu Koko is next to move. I don't know what that's going to do. Um, Tapu Koko goes for a wild charge into Confi. We take that. Only just, but we do take it. Okay, uh, we get the max lightning off. Now this should, even though it's Cresselia, it should KO it. Yeah, okay, great. So that's, um, there you go. There's the illustration of the power of, um, of Zekrom. Uh, a special Zekrom. Once the weakness policy is up, it's just too powerful, especially in this terrain. Let's, um, let's get a floral healing off into Zekrom. And then I think we need to go for the max lightning into the, uh, into the Glastria. I don't think that we have any other option. It might be like, we might be missing a really nice read that we could make here, like a really, really nice read to make by, by not targeting the Glastria, but I just don't see anything, I don't see anything else we can do. That would be pretty bad. Um, or he max guards the Glastria and he crits play rough or something into it. Okay, so we get the floor healing off. Bring us up to full, which is pretty nice. Uh, we take that. Coco goes for the wild charge again, maybe choice scarf, choice ban. Uh, unless it was life form, I, I didn't see that the first time. Damage by recoil, okay. We get a lightning. Which does really nice damage, okay, cool. Uh, goes for the max quick, that's fantastic, that will not chaos. Doesn't even do half, which is really, really nice. Raises his special defense, uh, which is obviously less less nice. Okay, so now I think we're in a fairly okay spot. Urshifu always beats Glastria in the end, right? With a close combat, always beats Urshifu, uh, always beats Glastria in the end. So. If we can remove the Tapu Koko with Mama Swine, yeah, that's what we have to do. We have to remove Tapu Koko with Mama Swine, and then we fire off a Max Wormwind this time into the Glastria to lower its attack. Um, go to a Wild Charge, uh, we take it. We also now preserve the Sasha and Mama Swine, so hopefully it lands its high horsepower. Uh, it does. Beautiful. And now I think what he's going to try and do here is go for the, I'm guessing he's, because he's wild charged us, I'm guessing he's going for the quake again. Uh, which is why we've gone for the worm wind to try and lower his attack and hope that maybe we can survive a quake. Uh, presuming that Kyogre is in the back here, right? Um, okay, no, he doesn't get the hailstorm, so that, that will just chaos. Um, there's no, there's no way out of that, I don't think. No, that does chaos. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, it's a crit? Oh, well, maybe, let me see. Um, so who will I get that attack boost back? Yeah, I mean, that, that, I'm pretty sure that Hailstorm KOs us anyway. Okay, and now we come into Urshifu. So now we're in, now we're in a kind of a decent spot again. Um, he hasn't got a defense boost. He is Kyogre. Um, we are in the rain. Okay. A lot of this now comes down to how fast is his Kyogre? Uh, which obviously I don't know the answer to. Um, if it's Scarf Kyogre, I think we lose. If it's not Scarf Kyogre, we might win. 
Um, I think we need to double Kyogre, right? Do we double Kyogre? I think we do, because Glastria can't KO us both. Kyogre can. And if we can get some damage off first, because we're Scarf too, then Water Spout doesn't do a lot, right? Yeah, we have to double Kyogre. Okay, close combat comes out. Does lots of nice damage. Uh, is it faster than Mamoswine is the next question. No, Mamoswine is faster. Um, okay, so we pick up the Kyogre, which is really nice. Uh, and now both of my Pokemon should pretty pretty much guarantee KO his... Um, his and, and he goes into the Mamoswine, which is focused on... Whew, sweating! Hey-ho, there we are, what can we do? Um, you, you know, can't win them all. So, uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll come back to this in just a minute. All right, bye. Okay. All right, looks like our opponent here is going to be running a Palkia team, um, along with Whimsicott, Arcanine, Heatran, Ferrothorn, and uh, and Urshifu. Okay, that's an interesting team. That's a really cool team, I, I think. Um, although it's really good into Palkia, I think Zekrom here is, um, struggles a little bit into some of the other stuff. Stuff. I think, I mean, Urshifu looks absolutely great. It's too late to change now. I won't be able to get all the Pokemon done in time, but actually, I think maybe what I could have done is led Incineroar and Urshifu. That might have been really, really nice. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I like Ferrothorn in this meta. Rep, um, who's one of the guys on the Discord, and a friend of mine is, is running Ferrothorn on his Players' Cup team, and I, I actually think it's a pretty, pretty nice pick, actually. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I, I'm not too happy with that team... Uh, selection. Uh, what's he going to leave with here? Okay, he leads Whimsicott Palkia. Okay. Uh, we lead Thunder Asashifu. Um So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and um, uh, I'm going to try and keep the um, keep the Urshifu safe. I'm going to Eerie Impulse the Palkia and I'm going to go into Comfy on the off chance that he does go for a Dragon move into the Urshifu slot. Um... Because I feel like that's the play, right? If you're him, um, you see that Urshifu and, and it probably threatens a lot of stuff in the in the back for you. I think that's probably the play. And then hopefully we can also, yeah, we can also lower the, the special attack of the Palkia. Let's see. Um, okay, so we switch out Urshifu, uh, just in case he tailwinds and, and then we get outsped. I don't really want to get outsped and get nailed and lose Urshifu. Okay, let's see what he's going to do. Is it going to be Dynamax on the Palkia? It is going to be Dynamax on the Palkia. Okay, so, so we know now then, first of all, we can... Um, we can probably look to to an end game with Zekrom. Um, Palkia is 100 speed. Uh, Zekrom is 90 base speed. So I think we should underspeed it. So we could even possibly look to do a uh, look for a trick room type thing here. So we do get the eerie impulse off, uh, which is pretty big. So let's see what the Whimsicott's going for. Uh, Whimsicott goes to the tailwind. So we actually outspeed the Whimsicott, which is interesting. Very interesting. Palkia goes for the Max Lightning. Okay. Um, does it get like Thunderbolt or something maybe? Yeah, perhaps it does. Okay. okay, if you're going for Tailwind, then... I guess we're fairly safe to Eerie Impulse again here, right? And, and just actually... We could even... Um, we could Trick Room or we could even just Floral Healing the Thunderous and just try and... Um, set the game up that way. I think that might be quite nice. Um, yeah, and then see if we'll set the rain for us by targeting into the um, the the comfy slot. Okay, he goes for helping hand. Okay. Um, which is fine. Uh, floral healing will go first because triage is plus three priority, I believe. So that's pretty nice. Um, heal up Thunderous, goes all the way back to full. We go for the Eerie Impulse again, which brings Palkia down to minus four. The helping hand obviously will give it a nice boost. Goes for the geyser, great for our Urshifu in the back. Um, although this does make me think, unfortunately, he's probably running, um, he's probably running Ferrothorn. Okay, so now then, this turn, I think we're going to have to try and work away at this Whimsicott a little bit. Uh, whilst I don't really, it's not optimal by any stretch of the imagination to just be firing off like resisted and, and not very powerful attacks. Um, I don't think we're in too much danger here, unless obviously we get crit, which, which is never good. So it does go for another helping hand, uh, but it is now at minus four still, so 
uh, we get the draining kiss off uh, which will give Comfy a little bit of health back, which is as important as the damage we're doing, just to make sure that we hopefully survive another attack from the Palkia. Although now it is in the rain, we may not. Um, and if we don't, then that's that's sort of fine too. Uh, it's it's dirty job. We do survive, which is which is pretty huge. Uh, and we'll now get a Thunderbolt off with uh, with Thunderous, which which will do a nice little little chunk as well. Okay, uh, Palkia goes down to to normal form. We've successfully stalled our opponent's Dynamax, and it looks like we might even successfully stall their Tailwind as well. I'm going to send another Thunderbolt into Whimsicott here, and I'm going to Drain Kiss the Pav here. Am I going to Drain Kiss the Pav No, I really don't want to set up a Weakness Policy. Yep, okay. Oh, he draws the Whim. Okay. Um, into Heatran. Okay, so the Draining Kiss won't do too much. Um, and he protects the Pav here. Okay, well, this is this is really, really nice turn then. Um, so the draining kids will do will do pretty much nothing, um, and I think his, his tailwind must run out in the next turn or the turn after. I should probably have checked that. Uh, this thunderbolt will actually probably do quite a bit of damage then. Um, yeah, it does a nice little chunk of damage, and we paralyze the heatran, which is um, well the tailwind peters out anyway, so it's not not huge huge. But we're going to weather ball heatran now, and we're going to uh, I'm just going to protect comfy. Yeah, I think that's fairly safe. With Heatran gone, it also means that uh, if, if we manage to remove Heatran, that is, of course. Um, if it, with Heatran gone, if we can get rid of Heatran, it means that we can lock ourselves into close combat with um, uh, with Urshifu. Also, the weatherball animation is really cool, uh, and and it does lots of damage, which is really nice. <laughs> um, let's hope we see a target into Comfy here. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, Spatial Rain comes out. Um, uh, it doesn't do too much. Zekron's going to Dynamax. Provided this endgame plays out how we think it is going to, I'm fairly happy with how we've managed the game so far. Um, I mean, we definitely could have done it better. This definitely is always a more optimal way to play, I suspect. But, but so far, it's been fairly, fairly useful. So... Wim goes for the helping hand, uh, which means we will lose Comfy here if um, if he targets that slot. But I'm pretty sure uh, we crit, <laughs> we crit ourselves, which is which is not great. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he has to be scarfed, right? Yeah, he has to be scarfed because otherwise he can't actually be thunderous. Um, so, so this does KO, uh, 90 down to 42. Yeah, so we, we do lose Comfy here. But that's fine, because um, we, we pick up the Urshifu in return. Um, and we go into our own Urshifu as well, which is pretty pretty nice. Um, we get the Wormwind off, which covered the reason we went for the Wormwind and not the uh, Max Lightning is because it covers for the Palkia switching. Um, which is really, really nice. I don't think between Windsor and Palkia, I don't think Palkia does enough damage with Spatial Rend. I don't think so. I'm not sure though. Um, let me just check. I'm gonna go for a lightning here into Palkia. And I'm gonna go for close combat into Palkia too. Uh, if he helping hands and spatial rends will knock out Palkia because uh, Urshifu will move first. If he doesn't helping hand and spatial rend, if he goes for Tailwind and spatial rend, I'm pretty sure Zekrom survives. Which means we take out the Palkia and then we take out the Windsor afterwards. And he can't protect from Urshifu either. So uh, he does go for the Helping Hand, which means Urshifu will move first and we should KO it, which is really, really good. Uh, and it means we pick up our third win in a row, which is really, really nice. A really good start to the day. Good start to the Players' Cup. A little bit of a shame about that DC earlier in the day, which um, looks to have gone against us. But aside from that, we're looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty happy with the start. Definitely a better start than with the Horsies. Uh, GG to my opponent. Um, again, right, so that was, that end game there was a little bit dicey because my opponent, if he'd read it, could have targeted the Urshifu and then maybe we could have lost in that, that end game. But on the whole, I think he had to target, the, like that was his that was his play, right? That was always his play. Now my phone keeps pinging. Um, ah, no, it's our nemesis, everybody. 
it is our nemesis. So, here's the deal, guys. Uh, Xerneas is the hardest matchup for this team by some distance. Uh, like, by some serious distance. And the only way I've ever been able to beat it is by by using Mamoswine. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to lead Mamoswine and we're going to lead Thunderous. Uh, and we're going to put all of our eggs into the um, try and kill Xerneas basket here. Okay, he leads the Xerneas, but he also leads the uh, also leads the Togekiss. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, we're going to max Steel Spike the Xerneas. And we're going to Thunderbolt the. Uh, we might Thunderbolt the Xerneas too, actually. Then, if he follows me, we should definitely pick up the KO. And what we don't want to do is Eerie Impulse, turn one, and then uh, max, max Steel Spike, get them both redirected. We want to try and be able to. Keep a uh, keep the max steel spike available for, for turn two. But this is what I mean, right? Like Apicus Xerneas, it's it is just quite simply a case of hit and hope. <laughs> if we can if we can knock it out, like if for some reason he, he tries to read us and protects the Togekiss, then uh, maybe we have a shot. Uh, but the the likelihood is we don't. Um, he Dynamaxes, okay. Uh, who does he Dynamax? Does he Dynamax Togekiss and and then go for it with go for Geomancy with Xerneas, or is he Max Xerneas? Oh, very cool, very cool. Absolute credit to my opponent. To be to be fair, like total credit to my opponent. Um, what does he do with Xerneas? Oh, <laughs> absolute fair play, fair play. Well done. Um, We move on to the next matchup. So I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for the Rain Dance, and I'm going to go for the Surging Strikes uh, in, the, in the hope that we can pick up a KO. Okay, so Thunderous moves first. Gets off the Rain Dance. Uh, what is Grimmsnarl going to do? I, I, unfortunately, I think we're going to see Trick. Uh, okay, no, we got our Surging Strikes off. Uh, this probably won't KO, but it will do a lot. Um, wow, it doesn't do as much as I thought, actually. That's... that's I thought we were doing a bit more than that, to be perfectly honest. But that's okay. Um, what's up next? What happens next? Sacred Sword into the Urshifu. Uh, we'll survive that. That's no problem. And Spirit Break. We won't survive that, I don't think. Um, no, we don't survive that. But that's fine. Um, that actually... Uh, is that fine? Yeah, I think that is fine. I really do think that's fine. Because what we can do now is this. Brilliant. Okay. Because we are Special Zekrom. So that's fine. Behemoth Blade uh, into Zekrom. Fantastic. And Weather Ball comes out, and that should pick up the Zacian. Okay. Well, I mean, you know. Number one, we have killed a Zacian. So that's nice. You know, that's pretty nice. <clears throat> um, I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's how it works. We always outspeed Landorus if it maxes. Unless we get like trick lagging tailed. Um, we die next. Oh my god, this works. I'll laugh so bad. <laughs> I mean, this guy has a Zassian and his rating is like 16, 1620, 1620, something like that. On day one, so he's obviously pretty pretty bloody useful, this guy. Um, I would love if this, <laughs> if this pays off. Oh my god, can you imagine? Uh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna max his Landorus? Okay. Okay. Um, I think, I'm fairly sure, fairly sure that we take anything from this, from this Landorus. I think Comfy is max HP, max defense, um, so we should take anything on that slot, and, and Thunderous as well should take it, I think. What does Grimstar do, is the only question. In light screens? Okay. Fine. Uh, we get Weather Ball off. I think this becomes max water, right? Yes, it does. Okay, great. Max Geyser. Comes out. Does, uh, yeah, okay. Does just over half. Okay. Goes for the rock fall. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, that's gotta be. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Actually, we're not that bulky, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, it didn't work. The light screen really, really kind of, kind of ruined us there. <laughs> but it was worth a try, right? Like, yeah, you gotta give it a go. Oof. All right, we are done for the day. Uh, we have finished with a record of. I'm not gonna tell you because it's meant to be a surprise. But overall, a uh, positive first day competition. Um, a couple of really badly played games by me, a couple of decently played games by me, a little bit of luck both ways, and all round uh, good fun. Pretty good fun. So there we are, that's it for day one. Please come back and join me for day two. Um, and hopefully we can kind of we can make some decent progress with this. Uh, I love using Zekrom. I've loved using this team. It's been really good fun. Hopefully we run into a few less uh, a few less Xerneas and a few less Zassian tomorrow, but I don't think so. But that's why I wanted to use this team, right? Because it's fun. It's a good challenge. So yeah. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you've watched till the end, have a wicked day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.